Hi everyone, I'm Cheryl. In this exercise, we're asked to use the fact that the limit as x approaches c of f of x is 3, and the limit as x approaches c of g of x equals 6, to help me evaluate four other limits. So let's begin with the first one. I'm interested in the limit as x approaches c of minus 2 times my function g of x. Minus 2 is a constant multiple, so I can rewrite this limit as minus 2 times the limit as x approaches c of g of x. And I know that this limit equals 6. So I've got negative 2 times 6, and my result is minus 12. OK, the next limit asks us to take the limit of a sum of two functions. And I know that if the limit of each of these individual functions exists, then I can split it up into the limit as x approaches c of f of x plus the limit as x approaches c of g of x. And I know what both of those limits are. As x approaches c, f of x approaches 3. And as x approaches c, g of x approaches 6. And 3 plus 6 is 9. For our third limit, we're looking for the limit as x approaches c of the quotient f of x over g of x. Now, I know that I can split this into the limit of the numerator divided by the limit of the denominator, provided that the limit of the denominator is not 0. So we have to be a little bit careful on this one. So I'll begin by writing this as the limit as x approaches c of f of x all over the limit as x approaches c of g of x. Now I know that as x approaches c, my function f approaches the number 3. And as x approaches c, g of x approaches 6. Remember, I needed to be careful to make sure that that didn't approach 0. But it approaches 6, so I had no trouble. And the overall limit is 1 half. Finally, we want to take the limit of the square root of f of x. Well, again, I know that I can take the limit as x approaches c of f of x, and then take the square root of that. I know that the limit as x approaches c of f of x is 3, so my result is the square root of 3. I hope that was helpful. Thanks.